To be a student athlete is very important. And the key word is student and athlete. And to be a parent concerned about your child and showing up to make sure that you are behind them 100%. As a parent to a student athlete, who I, from the day they were walking, I told them how important education was. And if you're going to be an athlete, you have to do both and do it well. And I'm very proud that uh, my daughter is a student athlete at Fresno State on scholarship, and she's doing very well. And I'm proud of that. Because it takes both the educational side, and when your child gets a scholarship to college, that's a new part. Because they were taught. I didn't forget her face. I woke her up that morning when we found her she needed a scholarship. I woke her up early and went down to the car dealership and I bought me a brand new car. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. That's my money now. I'll save that money. And I got two more coming up. I want to give them the same type of attitude. First word my son learned a scholarship. That's what you got to do for him. So the fact that you're here for your children, you understand that my house is important that you get an education. And it's very important that somebody else pay for it. That's what I try to tell them. But at the end of the day, they're going to get so much more out of it. You get so much out of being a student, so much out of being an athlete, but it goes hand in hand. And today, with all the information, encouraging words, mentorship, everything's going to happen today is for a reason. And I'm very proud of the parents who put aside a hard work and week to make sure you come here and you get the information with us. I remember being in your seat trying to think about how I was going to get my middle school kid into college, understanding that the prices were going to be even higher by the time she got there. So not everybody is qualified to get a scholarship, but there's other ways outside of being an athlete. There's often the academic side. There's so many programs available. So let's encourage our children to be behind 100%. Being that I actually grew up about two minutes away from here, so uh, being able to be out here and just give back what I know, you know, my knowledge, uh, that's what I just try to do and uh, use my platform to inspire others. No, I say it's just a testament to my parents, you know, and my upbringing, you know, uh, just trying to stay focused. You know, that was kind of my topic of the speech today. Uh, overcoming distractions, you know, life is full of all kinds of distractions, but um, just overcoming them and trying to eliminate, eliminate the distractions in your life is what's been important for me. So we do my, uh, annual, my second annual football camp that I do at Edison as well, you know, back in a later date around June time. So uh, I'm looking forward to all of these community events and bringing the community back together and just inspiring the youth, you know, to let them know that there's a will to get out and if uh, they maintain their focus, that they'll be able to make it. Like, get, like going okay. to school because I was put down a lot. Like I didn't want to do it no more. I was like in a hole, but I learned like I was, like there. How, um, like Gordon was telling me to focus more. That's what I started doing. I focused. Yeah, I right. started let my technology down, let the home a little bit, and then I started like going after school, doing extra work. But I thought it wouldn't pay off, but it did. And I thought people would have noticed, but when I had this invite, like it kind of. I don't know, it brought me up, brought me to life a little bit. I thought I was just working for no reason. So like, I just had to keep working. I just gotta keep on going at it, you know? So like, it's never too late to um, get your stuff together. Like what he was telling me. And that's what I had to do to um, do, what I'm, do what I'm doing now. Cause if I wasn't, I could be doing other bad things like hanging out with like homies that smoke weed and stuff like that. But yeah, if I just stayed in school and just did what I did for my family. But I've kind of been staying after school a little bit for to practice the SAT because I kind of, I want to I want to make sure that I'm able to go to college, you know. And it's kind of for most African Americans, it's kind of hard to get there. But yeah, I just want to be known to be doing that because most of my family, like some of the family I know, they could have did it, but they didn't. And I want to break that pattern.